home after almost two decades in federal politics, Justice Minister Peter McKay is set to announce he will not run for re-election. We're expecting to hear from McKay at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, 5 o'clock Atlantic Time. We'll be carrying that for you live right here on the CBC News Network. Bill Prestansky is the former chair of Peter McKay's PC party leadership campaign in 2003. He just arrived in Nova Scotia to attend today's announcement after Peter McKay asked him to come. He's known McKay since he was 18 years old. He also worked with McKay's father, Elmer. He joins us now for some insight, possible insight into McKay's decision to leave politics. Welcome to you, Bill. Well, uh, thank you very much for having me. Oh, was it a surprise to you? Um, well, you know, Peter's been in politics for 18 years now, elected six times. He's held three major portfolios, and uh, there's never a right time to leave politics. But uh, it was in one respect, but when you stop and think about it, uh, it, he's uh, he's given a lot to Canada. Why is he leaving now? Well, I think it's a combination of factors, but uh, really, when you think about it, he's turning 50 years old. He has a two-year-old boy. He has uh, a daughter on the way, so probably be born in September uh, during the election. And uh, I think he just thought, uh, you know, there's never a right time, but... Uh, he just felt that uh, with a young family, uh, it was uh, it was time to pursue other pursuits. I, you know, I'm thinking that if I'm Stephen Harper, if I am the prime minister of this country, I would say to Peter McKay, oh, but there, there may not be a right time, but there is definitely a wrong time, and that is going into an election year. Well, you know, in a funny sort of way... Uh, Peter will probably be more uh, useful to the prime minister and the government uh, during an election campaign uh, because he won't be uh, he won't be in Central Nova for uh, uh, you know 30 days of the campaign. He'll be able to travel across the country and support uh, candidates and members of parliament and colleagues in target ridings across the country. In fact, uh, he'll probably be much more useful uh, during the campaign. At, raising money and raising profile for the government and uh, speaking out on behalf of the prime minister. You, you think he has that broad appeal nationally? Oh, Peter, uh, yes. You know, if you've gone to any of our, and I'm sure you have, gone to our, our national conventions, uh, you know, he's literally mobbed uh, when he walks down the hallway. And I've walked with him in uh, many cities across the country and towns, and uh, he's very recognizable. Uh, people uh, people really like Peter McKay, and they, they know that he's... Uh, you know, he's had quite a career. He, he uh, when you think about it, he's been foreign minister, defense minister, justice minister, and uh, he's represented the, the people here in uh, Nova Scotia for 18 years. It's uh, quite a career. And, and most importantly, when you think about it, uh, he was the co-founder of this party. He brought the parties back together with Prime Minister Harper, and uh, they formed a national government together that uh, has, has done a lot of great things for the country. How much... Do you think that he is, some people are saying that he, this is a matter of him keeping his powder dry now with a view to perhaps looking at the leadership in the future? I don't think Peter looks at life that way. You know, uh, I think that uh, he's going on to a new phase of his life. Uh, if something happened down the road uh, where uh, people called him to come back to serve again, he'd have to think it through. But he's a young family and, uh, you know, he's now going to be in his 50s and and uh, probably earn a little bit of money for the family and, uh, and look after their future. Uh, his father was in politics. He saw what that does to a family. Uh, and so... Uh, yeah, his parents were separated. Who knows, what the, who knows what the future will hold for Peter McKay? Yeah, uh, yes, his parents were separated, which, as I understand, was a painful, painful uh, issue for him. Well, very much so. And, uh, you know, I first knew him when he was a Carleton student, and uh, he, uh, his father was the senior advisor to the leader, stepped aside, and uh, Mr. Mulroney had won the seat of Central Nova and served in the House of Commons, and so his father was the senior advisor, and, and uh, Peter would come up after uh, school a few days of the week, and uh, he'd sit around and uh, chat with us, and that's when I got to know him, but he wasn't interested in politics there at all. In fact, he w it was quite hurtful that his parents had had divorced because of politics, and, and so you know, he, he, you know, he's got to be thinking of that. It's got to be in the back of his mind. He's got a two-year-old boy and, uh, and a daughter uh, soon. So 
I, I think all of that has has led to this decision. It's not an easy decision, you can well imagine, mm. uh, but uh, it is what it is. Do you think it'll be an emotional announcement today? As you say, he's been in politics a very long time, holding a great deal of uh, leadership positions in this country. Well, I think it will be emotional for everyone in the room. Uh, it'll be emotional for the people from Central Nova because Elmer McKay represented this riding, Brian Mulroney, and, and now Peter. Uh, I was at the, uh, they had a, a, a dinner here uh, last year where Mr. Mulroney spoke and, uh, and uh, Elmer introduced him and Peter thanked him and, and all three speeches were very emotional. I think the Prime Minister will be emotional because uh, when you think about it, this is the co-founder of the party. They sat across the table from one another and negotiated a merger that uh, turned out quite well in the sense it restored democracy to Canada and the Conservative government has been in power now for, for nine years doing great things for the country. So uh, I, th I, think, I think it will be emotional. I know I, know I will be. Yeah. Uh, just before I let you go, you mentioned the Prime Minister. I also wonder if in the back of his mind he's wondering something else, and that is, you know, what's happening to the party going forward? Because it's Peter McKay now, it was John Baird previously, it was said to be as Mr. Fix at his right-hand ban. Uh, some, Chris Hall put it this way, he can't even count, keep count of how many people are leaving before the next election, some 30 MPs. What's happening there? Well, it's a natural. You know, uh, people uh, people do not and should not, I think, be uh, have politics as a career. I think it works better when people uh, from all walks of life uh, put their name on the ballot, get elected, serve for a while, and then move back to the private sector or, or some other job in the public sector. And I think it's quite natural. Uh, if you look at the original cabinet uh, uh, photo, uh, he and I were looking at it the other day. It's hanging on the wall in his office. And uh, you know, there's Bernard Valcour, there's uh, there's uh, Rob Nicholson, there's there's very few of the original ministers that are left. But you know, there's a great great uh, bench strength that the Conservatives have. There's many parliamentary secretaries and chairs of committees who uh, are quite prepared and quite ready to step into cabinet posts after the election. And in fact, there's some great candidates we've been recruiting. So it, you know, it's just a natural progression. Uh, people shouldn't be in politics uh, for a lifelong career. And, and I think uh, I think it's uh, it's great to bring young people forward, and and he will be making room for that as others have as well. Yeah, still quitting months before an election is, uh, you know, it, it, it raises questions. You can certainly understand why. Yeah, but you know, he's uh, the, he has been a, a forthright supporter of the prime minister. The prime minister has been a forthright supporter of Peter. Uh, they've worked very very well together. And uh, they've done. A, they've traveled around the world together to NATO meetings, to United Nations. Uh, they uh, they've been a very good team. And uh, and Peter will be there uh, during the election to to help get this government reelected. And believes strongly that the government should be reelected. All right, Bill Prostansky, former chair of Peter McKay's PC Party leadership campaign in Central Nova for the announcement today that Peter McKay is quitting politics. He joins me from Halifax this.